got him in here with a couple of dries. Bit of breeze. Beautiful. And the, uh, he certainly loved that dry. A little one go, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. And it actually is a reasonable fish that will and that's the problem in that undercut bank, but we'll just get the pressure on and he'll come back out. And that's why you want like a good rod. I've got the Stalker Legend, which is our new model. And we might even get this quick if he swims into the net and he doesn't. And he's, there we go. And uh, a wonderful rod like that allows you to steer him around. It's a nine foot six weight, which is great for this style of fishing. And it certainly works. A couple of casts in there with the dry and gold and uh, actually he looked he looked a bit smaller than uh, actually what he is so uh, how many five and, a half. five and a half pounds so you go it's hard to grizzle and uh, complain about being stuck in your office you know today because it's pretty dim pretty boring not much happening it's actually pretty good it's actually pretty good stunning fish like that i just i just can't say enough how cool this place is this is absolute gold Absolute gold. A little bit of life in him. He wasn't quite ready, I don't know. No. We, he, he, there was a net around him before he was still he was still feeding. He didn't even realise anything was happening then. That was that was fantastic. And you could just see he was in shallow water, so he was. That's why we thought. I reckon we can get him on a dry. Um, so Scott put like a, a little little uh, parachute and then a little emerger, and uh, he can take his choice. We didn't care which one he ate as long as it was one of them. And once he got to see it, he really liked it. Yep. Well, there you go. That's a stunning fish. I mean, it's five and a half pounds of absolute gold up in Southland. I mean, just the depth on that. I mean, it never really comes up on camera as big as they actually are. But he's got a, like the head on that is just incredible. And the depth on his body is just amazing, let alone the, uh, the width. That is a big, powerful fish, and uh, we did pretty well to net him in that small area. Got into the shallows, and uh, Scott got that net underneath him before he even knew what was going on, which is just gold. And that's what it's about. A beautiful fish like that, and keeping him in the water for as long as you can. We want that oxygen going through the gills. You know, it's all good. We'll get a photo, but you've got to be quick, and then get him back in the water again. So uh, they're good. Just give them time to, to get their breath and I think he's pretty good to go now. So that's just fantastic. Just hold him there, yeah, once they're good to, to swim away like he is now, he's perfect. He's got plenty of go left in him and he'll swim away now and, and be ready for someone else to, to come up here and catch. He can get caught over and over again, which is, I guess, the beauty of fly fishing. You come to a place like this, sure, you've had some fun, but you're leaving it virtually untouched, which is fly fishing. That's what it's all about. And that's why you come to New Zealand and get experiences like this is just incredible.